Hello again everyone, Deflect here, Firm But Fair Gaming. I want to bring you a video on the upcoming 9.2 World of Warcraft patch and what I think the best tanks will be for Mythic Plus. Uh, this really won't have anything to do with rating, it will just be focused more on Mythic Plus and uh, which tanks we're going to sit where. Now, just to start off, every tank should be A tier, every tank. But now that we have to drop them into categories a little more, you can tank with any one of these and do just fine. Every tank here is doing well into the 20s. I think below us one might be a 28 now or something or 27, which is way up there. So you don't need to worry about not being able to tank with this. But if you're looking for a little more easy use or if you're looking for why it's gonna be a little better, I will try and get into that. And I'll try to keep it you know, relatively short as you can go on and on and on about these and kind of try and give you the, my opinion on the mythic plus where it's going with these tanks as you know prop pally just overtook druid um just at the end of this season here uh, as we're coming to an end prop pally is now uh basically the top tank and um we'll get into that a little farther on i'm going to start with protection warrior though and use its um basic it was at the bottom right now as of tanks pretty much every other tank was kind of better than it it was it was okay like don't get me wrong it wasn't bad but the warrior was kind of sitting around the you know c tier for tanks uh it didn't really do much let's put it that way where the other tanks you know you could do crazy pulls with some incarn on your druid your demon hunter could do some great aoe damage you know your monk was doing really well to get out of things uh the blood dk just is you know you just can't kill them so everyone had its niche and prop warrior was kind of like it's still a great tank it's still a shield slam shield blocks and all the um good stuff that the tanks bring as also some of the other abilities um like battle shout so it was it was a really good tank but it was always kind of left behind and now the two piece uh set is consuming uh 30 rage grants a stack to see in red which transform into outburst at eight stacks causing your next shield slam or thunderclap to be 200 percent more effective and grant ignore pain the four piece avatar increases your damage dealt by an additional 10 percent and decreases damage taken by 10 percent avatar instantly grants outburst so for M+, plus, this is actually really good. You're getting a mix of defensive and offensive abilities. And I'm kind of kind of biased on the uh, the Protection Warrior. I would still put it around a B, um, just because other classes are also getting a tier set and some of the ones are really, really good. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave Prop Warrior around a B. Uh, that's kind of where I see it right now. I, I think it will, you know, still get play. I just don't know if it will get like top end play. Now we're gonna go straight into the Guardian Druid. And this is an interesting one. So Guardian Druid was A tier, S tier, in between A and S. Um, it was S tier for a very long time and then Prop Warrior just kind of took over it. So uh basically it was up here but the two piece now casting bark skin causes you to berserk for four seconds very interesting and well your four piece while berserked you radiate 45 percent attack power cosmic damage to nearby enemies and heal yourself for 61 percent of attack power every second so a very very interesting set to play with because you can reduce the cooldown to bark skin to have it like 30 seconds and I think there might be some other plays with some different legendaries other than Ursix. And it just, it opens up a very, very wide range of covenants. Um, Guardian Druid is one of the ones that can play any covenant and not see much DPS difference. Uh, the big DPS will come from being Venthyr and uh, the big utility will come from being Kyrian. And that's not to say that uh, Guardian Druid still can't play Night Fae. Night Fae is very well as well. So um, the only one that you kind of lack a little behind on is Necrolord, but it's not really that big of a deal. So I would have said S tier, last one, I, it's giving you pretty much everything you need in this tier set. You're getting extra damage, you're getting healing, and it's really during your time where you're pulling huge, like by your, by your incarn, you're going to be doing damage there. You're going to be pulling big packs. You're going to be, you know, needing that 
uh, extra damage through the radiate and the extra healing. So I would I would leave it in S tier. It's uh, it's going to be very good. It actually got what it needed because Guardian Druid was absolute trash on damage. Like they are literally one of the worst damage tanks in the game, if not the worst. They're just their damage is awful. So um, get you what you need. It it's got to remain up there. It's got to be in the S tier. It's got to be. Uh, got to be doing well next patch. It is very well it's going to be doing. Um, I'm going to jump on to the Demon Hunter, the Vengeance Demon Hunter. Uh, this is the actual one I main for uh, this last patch. So it was very fun. It's very mobile class. They have changed the tier set already. And now the two-piece damage dealt by Immolation Aura has a 10% chance to generate a Lesser Soul Fragment. Four pieces consuming a Lesser Soul Fragment reduces the remaining cooldown of your Immolation Aura or your Fell Devastation by one second. So you're basically generating more Soul Fragments and then reducing the cooldown of your Fell Devastation, which is great, it puts you into metamor Metamorphosis more often, or a reduced cooldown of Immolation Aura. Then again, you know, it's a circle of doing lesser Soul Fragments. So it kind of, kind of sucks because uh, if you're running the Con of a Grown Inferno, uh, you want your Immolation Aura to keep ticking because the higher it ticks, the more damage it does. And if you refresh it because your Immolation Aura is up more often, um, every time you refresh it, you start over on Growing Inferno, so the damage there will be reduced. But uh, it, it, it's going to be pack dependent. So <laughs> I would say uh, there are some notes making it like between a 4 and a 9 uh, pack pull. It's going to be okay, uh, but it really shines in the uh, 10 plus pack pull so really good mythic plus gonna leave you really tanky uh just be using those you know, uh spirit bombs all the time so it should make up for the damage as it should hopefully get the extra damage from spirit bombs with all these extra you know uh, and pretty much everything you're gonna have the soul fragments are just gonna keep you alive and the emulation or is just gonna keep on spending and we have many many uh ways to generate soul fragments so this will just be one more and you will just be very, very tanky. Um, if you have a 10 pack pull on a 10% chance, you should be getting a soul fragment every time Immolation Aura does damage. So every second soul fragment will drop. Now, it really depends on how big you're pulling. Some weeks this will drop way down, some weeks it will be up here, depending on the affixes. I'm gonna say it's gonna be A tier, um, just for specifically Mythic Plus. It's uh, it's a very good set for big bulls. Very good set. So I'm gonna leave it at uh, leave it at eight here, uh, and we'll move on to the brew master monk. Which oh, oh, this one's gonna be tough to rank. Very tough. Uh, targets ignited by breath of fire deal an additional four percent less damage to you, which is great. Um, because you know breath of fire, you always want them to you know deal less damage to you because you are the lowest health tank in the game and then keg smash deals an additional 50 percent damage and heals you for 66 percent damage dealt and grants 66 percent of the damage dealt as maximum health for 10 seconds wow i don't you know i wow just wow is all i have to say to that um, that specifically alone, Keg Smash is your highest damage dealer. It is just ridiculous that we're getting 50% more on it. And that is going to move Monk all the way up to S tier. That's the end of the S tier, but it is moving up to S tier. It, it's just going to do ridiculous damage. It doesn't change the way you play. It's just more damage and more healing. And I don't, yeah, it's just going to be just very, very, very good with the keg smash. You're going to be pulling some pretty high numbers as a brewmaster monk. That is my prediction on that one. I can just see it now. It's going to do very, very well. So uh, we're going to move on. We're going to leave that up there in the S tier. So we have two S tiers already. And mind you, again, like I said, every tank is going to do well. These are just breaking it down even a little farther. Uh, Blood DK. When you take damage, you have a chance equal to 100% of your parry chance to lash out. Heart striking your attacker, attacker dancing rune weapon now summons two runes. Uh, and apply aura... Uh, 
which what is it? Dummy modifies damage slash healing done. Okay. Uh, so it's good, but DKs were lacking before, and this is this is going to be a good set. It's not great. It's not fantastic. It's not amazing. It's not going to be game changing like I think the monk will be. The monk set is way better. I DKs were doing very well with the self healing. They are like basically one of the tankiest. Uh, tanks in the game to kill just because their self healing is so crazy like you can see tanks just doing immense self healing it is ridiculous like pulling you know 12 18 k's on pulls just depending on what they're doing it is very very tanky um this one's a tough one to rank for me it's an interesting one i i would say it's end of a maybe a bit of b maybe it should go in front of the prop warrior or behind the demon hunter it's somewhere in here it's going to be good I, the only thing i have with blood dk's is I, the only reason i don't like them is they are such a wheelchair class they are slow very slow and there's only one little speed burst you get and it doesn't really increase your speed that much but they do have the grip so it's very useful and i'm gonna leave it b tier you know what I think it's going to be end of B or end of A, beginning of B tier. It's kind of in the middle. It's going to be good. It's not going to be crazy amazing, but it's going to be good. And last but not least is the Protection Paladin. And if you don't know on the Protection Paladin, casting Shield of Righteous increase your block chance by 4% for 15 seconds, stacking up to three times, meaning they get a great big, well, not a great big, but a pretty big defensive. Um, which is great for them because they were one of the squishiest tanks in the game. Uh, blocking an attack has a 33% chance to cast Judgment at your attacker on the four-piece set. Which in M+, is very, very good. You're going to have ridiculous Judgments. And uh, I would say, you know, you don't even have to look. It's just going right to the top. Pally's overtook druids and now they're getting even more damage they were the top damage class before getting more damage and more defensives is going to make it the best tank coming out in 9.2 uh they are going to be you know they should almost be in a tier on their own they should almost be like s plus tier for paladins because it's just going to be ridiculous i think how good they will be next patch uh, this is really just going to enhance everything they're already doing. They're already the top tank in the game, and now they're getting that much more. Uh, this is going to be phenomenal. They will be really, really good um, for tanks. And, you know, like I said, all tanks are going to be good, but this is the order I'm kind of putting them in. Paladin in a class of their own. Like, I should almost have this in S, S plus tier. Uh, just because that's how good they're going to be. And then Druid and Monk are going to be S tier. You can even swap them out. Monk might overtake Druid because of the damage it's going to do and because of the um, the actual defensives they're getting. So Monk might overtake Druid. Uh, it, but it'll be very close because Druid is getting what it needs as well. So these two will be very good. Demon Hunter, big pulls, A, a uh, tier still. Now, remember, Demon Hunter is going to diminish on the smaller size pulls. So on the weeks where you can't do big pulls, it will lose a lot of its tier set value. Um, so that's why it's A, not S. It, you know, it's it's going to be good. It's just not going to be like S tier these guys good. These, these three are going to be unbelievable. You will not have a problem playing a Pally, a Druid, or a Monk next patch. Um, as for the rest, still good, but... DKs and Prot Warriors are down in the B tier. Um, they just were lacking a little behind in M+. So uh, they got some nice bonuses on their tier set. Just some other ones got much, much better tier sets. So uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And, you know, like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.